What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to replace your toilet tank lever using the Fluid Master Universal Perfect Fit Toilet Tank Lever. The only thing you should need for this job is the toilet tank lever itself and I'll leave a link for this one in the description below. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn off the water supply to the toilet by turning the valve clockwise. Then remove the toilet tank lid. Next, flush the toilet and hold the handle down to drain all the water out of the tank. Next, remove the old lever by turning the finger nut clockwise. Then disconnect the small chain that goes down to the flapper. As you can see, the old lever was so corroded that it actually pulled the chain through one of the holes, so I actually had to move it to one of the other spots. So on the packaging of the Fluid Master Perfect Fit, it says it fits the most brands. You can see once you get out of the package, there's a bunch of different adjustments. You can adjust this arm length here for your flapper, and also you can adjust the angle that goes towards the flapper. Here's the angle adjustment. The goal is to get the lever arm in line with the flapper valve. So once you have this all set, you're then going to separate the handle from the actual lever itself. As you can see, it takes a little bit of force to do that. Then loosen the finger nut by turning it clockwise. small white sleeve may or may not be used depending on the hole size in your toilet. So you want to test fit it first and in my case the hole was smaller so I'm not going to use the sleeve. Next insert the lever mount into the toilet and press it in. Then take your hand nut and tighten it by turning it counterclockwise. Make sure you do this nice and snug. Next, insert the arm through the hole in the lever mount and press till it clicks in. Next, while holding the handle and the arm level, you're going to press till they click together. Then give it a quick test to make sure the arm doesn't hit anything inside the toilet tank. Then connect the flapper chain to the arm and the chain should have about a half inch of slack. And when it's resting, it should form a small J, kind of like this photo here. Now it's time to test everything, so start by turning your water on, by turning the water supply counterclockwise. And once your toilet fills up, give it a couple test flushes, just to make sure everything looks good. And if everything is working correctly, there's only one thing left to do. Put the tank cover back on, and you're all set. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also check out all my other toilet installation and maintenance videos. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.